size of that ship? The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers on any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. To it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. This place is a little too perfect. 
they're hiding something. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Oh, chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, 
Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. 
They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nelina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes.